Hey there, my webcrafting wizards. In today's episode, I want to share with you a new plugin that just got released as a total game changer for Wix Studio. So you probably heard about Figma before. It's probably one of the most popular UI creation design tools out there. And now with this new plugin, you can basically create your design in Figma and with one click, you can export it straight to a website, a fully functioning website. So let's jump into Figma and create a design. Uh, I don't know, let's do it based on this, the Sony XB13 speakers. Let's create something really cool. But before we jump into Figma, I decided to hop into Blender and create some sort of like reveal effect with these speakers for the front page. So I had this idea of creating like three pillars here where I'm going to place the speakers on top of, and then this will basically like animate and like go up like that and then rotate along the Z axis as well. So I ended up finding these speakers on Sketchfab and I just placed them on top of each pillar like that. And then I ran a little animation where these pillars just come up and down like that, giving us a nice reveal animation. As you can see, it has a nice easing to it as well and a nice rotation. So now it's all about giving them some materials and messing around with the lighting. I ended up adding a plane in the background like that and also two light sources. So I have a light source here in the front, as you can see, and I also added a light source to the back here, which is kind of like a purplish color to give that nice glow in the background like that. And I'm also animating this light. So as you can see, when I'm moving across, it'll start quite faded out and then it's going to reveal itself like that. So that's kind of the animation I ended up doing for this website. I'm going to just export this and import it into Figma. So here is our design in Figma. I just imported the video here. This is the final frame of the video. We'll actually preview it in Wix Studio because we're gonna add some more animations to it. But the resolution is 1280 by 3240. I just basically did 1080 times three, which is gonna give us like essentially three pages. So let's kind of design up our first front page here. So for the main page here, let's just import some text here. This is gonna be the XB13. I ended up using Poppins here and using this purple color as my primary color. So let's just center this like that. And let's also add a little subtitle text here to it. And for the second text here, we are going to put a medium Poppins font here. Okay, so this is bold. This is medium just to kind of separate that making this a less important text than this one. And also, as you can see, the color is a bit more grayish. I added a secondary color here where this is the primary color. Since I went with this pink for the main primary color, that's how my call to action button is going to look as well. So let's add that in here. For the navigation here, I thought I'd do some sort of like matte, uh, translucent uh, kind of buttons here. So the way you can do that is just do a simple circle here at the top, and then you can lower the transparency here to something like 20 percent. And then if you go to effects here, you can also add a background blur to it. OK, so we're going to leave the default on there. Uh, it doesn't matter too much here because it's not really colliding with anything in the background. But that's what we're going to keep for the rest of the website as well. So let's add a little logo in here just like that. And then let's scale this up a tad bit to maybe like 30 pixels. So there we go. That's our main navigation added there. And again, for the active link, uh, the active page that we are on, I thought I had a little purple uh, primary color to it. And I actually found um, a font that kind of really resembles Sony's font. That's the Libre Baskerville, if you're interested. Now, a really good feature in Figma is the ability to align everything very easily. And you can add a layout grid here to your right. So if you turn that on, as you can see, it's going to give you that 12 column grid so you can easily align everything to it. I usually like to do it on the second line here uh, just to give a bit of margin spacing to it. I think that's going to look great. So this would be centered here. And then let's bring it to center it in the vertical as well. And let's grab these two as well and just move them in and center them like that. So there we go. That just makes everything a little bit clearer. And these should be centered as well. And looks like they are. So we are good to go. For the second page here, I thought I'd do some sort of uh, showcase here of all the features that the speaker has. So I'll start off with just a little title here. This is going to be our subheader and it's going to have a line here. I thought it'd be really cool if we could have the speaker hanging off of this line here. I think that'll be pretty cool. But now that we also have that grid, I usually just toggle this on and off to kind of position everything for us. And as you can see, if I just take these two and move them in the second line. There we go. This line should also stretch to the end of this grid, just so everything is nicely aligned. 
I also added some text here that's going to basically highlight the durability and resistance of the speaker. So I'll just move it up here. And again, like as you can see, there's a bit of space here to the right. And I managed to find this image on, on Google uh, that will fit perfectly here. So this is the image I found off Google. And this is the candidate here for the hanging one off here, the edge. I think that will look perfect there. So what I'll do is just go through all of these and basically cut them out in Affinity Photo and then import them onto Figma. So let's just go through this and quickly cut them out. So let's drag in this image and there we go. Let's make this a tad bit smaller and see how we can fit it up here. And there we go. Let's bring it up a bit and that looks cool. That looks great. So I ended up finding a couple more images here on uh, Google and I just created like a card system here. And as you can see, the text here is also kind of that translucent uh, color here with the blur in the background, kind of what we did up there at the top. And on this uh, container, I basically added a clip content on it. So if I turn this off, as you can see, that content is going to overflow. The reason is when we actually do the import here on Wix Studio, um, we can animate this kind of like a carousel effect. So that's what we're going to do. So that looks great. One more thing I want to kind of highlight here is as we scroll by, this should scroll as well. And there should be like a small little progress bar here. And it's so easy since we can just animate this in Wix Studio, we can literally just draw a line like that or a little, uh, a little rectangle like that and just kind of align it here like that to our container. And I'm just going to copy and paste this and lower this line and change the color of it to the primary color of the website. And that's all we really need to do because after that in Wix Studio, we can just grab this and animate it to our own liking. So as long as it's there in the design, it's good to go. So we kind of had everything centered here at the top portion. And then here we kind of centered everything to the left. For the last page here, I essentially want to highlight the two products and all their features and your ability to buy them. So I decided to kind of put the text here in the center again and then kind of highlight the products here. So these are the two images I found. So I'll center them, bring them a tad bit up, and then I'll highlight the features all vertically down this way. So I ended up adding some color options here, then the title and then the price below it with a smaller font size. And each should have still the primary buy button now with the pink color. So this is ready to be imported into Wix Studio. So if you don't have the plugin, you can go here to plugins. If you right click manage plugins and search up Figma to Wix Studio. So let's get this installed. And then the next step you want is to actually take the URL of this Figma page. So let's do a copy and let's head into Wix Studio. And there we go. We are in Wix Studio. So now we can select everything here on the page and just get rid of it. We don't need this section. We don't need this nav bar. We don't need anything. So let's delete, delete and delete. So now let's go here to the Wix icon. We'll head to tools and we're going to go to import from Figma. And then here we just need to paste in that link and hit connect. And as you can see in just a couple of seconds, look at that. We have the full web design getting imported right here. And as you can see, we have some, it's going to detect like all the fonts that might be missing. So you can resolve that here as well. So let's hit add to site. And here we can choose like what frame we want to add it. Let's just choose the section here and hit add to site. And boom, just like that, as you can see, that imported all the different sections of our page straight in here. How fantastic is that? So let's add some uh, animations here to the front page and visualize how that animation looks. So for the text here, I decided to add just a simple slide entrance here. So let me show you a preview of that. If you just go here to the uh, lightning symbol here, and just add the slide from the bottom, you're gonna get that effect. So I did that for both. I think on this one, I just did a slight delay just so it comes right after the main title. And for the button, I ended up doing just a simple fade. So if we preview this, let's have a look. That looks really cool. And as you can see, that section also has a little animation here. And as you can see, the section also has an entrance animation here. So if we preview that, it's just gonna open up like that. For the card system here, I ended up doing a move on self animation. So if we have a look here and go to adjust, this is on scroll, by the way. So as you can see, I'm basically triggering it through like 25, 25% down the viewport. So as soon as we get down there, it's going to start moving from uh, 270 degrees here to the left. 
okay? And then you can adjust the amount that you want to move. So if I move, let's see how far it goes. There we go. You can add more cards here uh, if you want this to go further on, but I essentially stopped it here on the last item. And then here, as you can see now, we can just select these lines and just move them in and out like that. So for the line, I basically ended up uh, stretching this all the way to the end and adding an expand on self on scroll here. So if we preview this, as you can see, I basically wanted to start on zero and then slowly, slowly expand all the way to the end there. So now when we preview this, you're gonna see that as soon as we scroll down, that progress is also going to animate in like that. So that's pretty cool. One more thing I ended up doing is this little speaker here is also going to slowly animate all the way down there to that first line like that. And for the last page here, I also ended up doing a simple reveal animation. So we'll do a slide on this text here and we're just going to do an expand on both. So let's grab both, do an entrance and do an expand. There we go. Lovely. Let's preview this. So there we go, in just a couple of steps, we ended up creating a fully functional website with this new plugin. So let me know what you think of it. Uh, check out Wix Studio and Figma in the video description below if you wanna give them a go. Let me know what you use as your primary design tool out there. I'm really interested to hear. Until next time, drop a subscribe, drop a like, and I'll catch ya. I'm gonna transition myself out.